Whether you guys play Call of Duty, Fortnite, or even Club Penguin, you might have run into a hacker at some point while you guys are playing the game. Now in today's video, I want to go ahead and be focusing over towards the Grand Theft Auto 5 online cheaters that use mod menus to get ahead of the game compared to everyone else who plays legitly because it's kind of fascinating the way how they actually go ahead and see the world with all their hacks and mod menus popping up in the screen. And I want to go ahead and showcase it to you guys so you know exactly what you're dealing with the next time you get in a lobby with a hacker just let you guys know that um the people who do leave a like on the video and it only works if you leave a like on the video have a 64 percent chance of actually getting that one girl in their class to talk to them that girl that you like across the classroom that you never talk to yeah she's gonna come up to you dude and she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna start a conversation that's where you go ahead and uh get things going from there man hopefully you got enough game to actually wow her so you can get her number and stuff man but yeah and as well subscribe to the channel if you're brand new let's go ahead and get started so today boys and girls we're all gonna give ourselves a mod menu and we're gonna see exactly what these hackers see on a day-to-day -day basic when going ahead and you know running havoc on every single online server that they're hopping on and you know basically ruin the game for everyone else but you know today's video we're just gonna see exactly what they see you know I'm kind of curious myself I, I don't feel like spending money on actually purchasing a mod menu so we're just gonna go ahead and see what other people are doing in their own game so one of the most obvious things that people like to go ahead and do with their Grand Theft Auto 5 mod menus is provide people with a whole bunch of cash in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, one of them is money drops. Now, how exactly this works, just in case you guys never really experienced something like this or never heard of it, is sometimes these hackers will go ahead and teleport you to a nice empty field or spot that no one is around sometimes, and they'll just go ahead and just give you a whole bunch of cash, you know, just raining upon you you you're just getting all those dollars and you know you're just having a good old time man but the very bad part about this is the fact that what you're doing by letting this hacker give you all this cash is you're increasing the rate of rocks are actually finding out that you're not getting this money legitly and you can potentially get your account banned forever and you know rockstar doesn't really play around with that their anti-cheat system is quite very very highly active out there banning a bunch of players and by you just accepting this money and not reporting it to get the money out of your account you're just risking yourself getting in trouble man so if you ever see one of these type of lobbies or you know a guy who's actually accepting this type of cash make sure you warn them so they don't get in trouble man so are you people familiar with the word griefing now most of the times people do this in Grand Theft Auto Online with jets by just destroying everything in their way. Well you can also go ahead and do this using mods but I guess it's a little bit more worse with the mods that you have power to. Now for example if you have god mode you can pretty much go ahead and you know just kill everybody in the lobby without worrying about getting you know killed yourself. Or if you have stuff like this right here a mod menu you can just go ahead and terrorize the whole lobby by by spawning towards them and just getting them to ride you or just teleport them in random places in the map that they're not supposed to be at now here for example we are at a fellow GTA online players garage and we're just gonna teleport him and his whole squad over towards a random vehicle like right here now as you guys can see this isn't something that you can normally do I'm pretty sure cars don't do that unless I am mistaken with the latest models of 2018 vehicles and as well as we can see right here we're not only riding cars but we're also riding grown men now as you guys can see right there you can pretty much stick to any Grand Theft Auto online player just by doing this which basically mounts any player in the lobby now not only that but we also got this thing right here where I can shoot myself with a billion rockets and kill everyone in the whole lobby except me now these are very different versions of griefing that a lot of people don't actually get to see but over on the PC this is something that happens quite often now something that i wish that rockstar actually paid more attention to is the pc community but most of their focus is on console but yeah this is some of the stuff that i'm showcasing to you guys that happens every single day you get people going ahead and spawning random items on players you got people going ahead and forcing other players to spawn on them and locking them up in cages yeah freaking cages or in you know floating giant orange tennis balls 
and UFO sticking over towards your character. Now, if you're feeling like a real asshole, you can go ahead and just start killing people for no reason whatsoever by shooting a gajillion rockets all at once to kill everything and literally blow up every single thing in your way. And you don't even have to worry about the car that you're driving blowing up because, you know, you got God mode enabled. So you can pretty much destroy everyone in the whole freaking lobby. And just look at this. This is freaking crazy. Now, if you guys have ever ran over a water hydrant in the game, normally this will be the thing that shoots out of it. But because we have a mod menu, we can just stick that water pressure onto a player and just shoot them high in the sky until we feel like turning it off and just killing them like that. Now, the next thing that I want to showcase right here is going to be misusing the police officers towards your advantage. You can go ahead and get yourself an army of cops to just kill anyone that is annoying you. Or if you're feeling extra spicy, you can just go ahead and just, you know, force people to stick on top of you and just drive around in the sky, just floating around and just doing all that type of stuff. Mind you, these are just random online players. These people do not know each other. And he's basically forcing them to go ahead and, uh, you know, just, just stick. And they're just going to be teleporting, you know, random players as they fall, killing them. And, you know, a, a UFO just doing most of the stuff right here. There are some cars. There are some cannons. There are some jets there's some people doing pull-ups all these weird type of stuff that you normally don't see every single day but because we are the modders because we're the hackers this is something that we need to get used to boys because you know Grand Theft Auto 5 is kind of old but we're gonna need to spice things up man now if you're feeling like true human garbage you can just go ahead and just start up a team deathmatch and load up your you know very very handy wall breach aimbot right there you can just go ahead and just start scouting out every single person in your lobby and just kill them man especially in a team deathmatch game where you know this this stuff is not looked down upon whatsoever but here you guys can see squares showcase every single person around me and as well as their health bar because that'll be very very beneficial to see who's gonna be dying with my shotgun the fastest with the lowest health but yeah basically you just see everything in your way you get to destroy everyone no one knows that you're aimbotting unless they can go ahead and have some common sense seeing the guy with 40 kills and oh not dying once yeah it's kind of obvious and you know these people right there just in case you don't know these are all paid mod menus the one that you actually have to put a lot of money into because they don't usually get banned that quick compared to the free ones but yeah this is a this is a team deathmatch wall breach uh aimbot thingy majigger pretty useful if you're a scumbag hopefully today's video has educated you guys on the cycle of an online modder slash hacker you know giving themselves a whole bunch of cash fucking around with players by griefing them you know messing with them and all that type of stuff and as well as going ahead and killing them with all their aim bots and wall hacks and all that type of stuff that pretty much ruins the game that nobody wants to go ahead and deal with so if you guys ever go ahead and see stuff like this then make sure that you guys pretty much join a different lobby don't go ahead and give these people attention because they, they freaking love it. Go ahead and switch a different lobby or, you know, just report them. And hopefully you will not encounter something like this in the next lobby because this pretty much happens a lot over in the PC. And not only that, the PS4 also has a couple of mod menu tutorials that you guys can go ahead and watch and try to learn exactly on how to get yourself one of this which I do not encourage. Hopefully you guys do not do that because of course you don't want to risk your console getting console ban or getting your Grand Theft Auto 5 character resetted and do, going through all that type of bullshit that you just don't want to go ahead and uh, deal with. So boys and girls, hopefully you have learned something or two. You know, sometimes we deal with these people, but you know, in today's video, now we know exactly their type of world and what they see and all the stuff that goes through their little heads when they're doing all this type of stuff. Yeah, but anyways, Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and drop a like on it. We really, really, really appreciate it if you go ahead and support the video with that. And as well, subscribe to my channel if you guys are brand spanking new. And let me know down below in the comments on something that you guys want to go ahead and see for the future. Or any hacks or mods that you guys saw in today's video that really interested you and all that type of stuff. But anywho, I'm Sernando. Peace out and stay safe everybody. Bye!